iPhone. Don't you die on me. Huh? Come on. Power up. You can do it. There we go. And I'm moving on. Hello guys welcome back this is Leslie Lens if you're new here kindly hit that subscribe button okay so today we're going to talk about the iPhone 15 and the various leaks that have already been talked about I've also released a few videos about the same you can go ahead and check them I'll leave a link down below so today we're going to talk about the USB-C and the charging system of the yet to be released the iPhone 15 that is going to be released in less than a month that is on 12th September 2023 of course so iPhone is going to ditch the lightning charging system after more than a decade that is since 2012 lots change and it's it's time for the connector to evolve and that's just what we've done our new connector is called lightning this is after the eu regulations i've already talked about the same now today's leaks is quite interesting there are photos on the internet that are said to be real photos of usb-c female charging port system of the year to be released the iphone 15 and the ones that have been seen are from the iphone 15 iPhone 15 Plus and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now the authenticity of these photos and how real they are are said to be 100% true. Now that is not even the point about these leaks. The biggest deal is that when these photos were leaked, some experts noticed and realized on these charging ports that there was a chip. At first, some people were worried that Apple is going to regulate other third-party companies from using their own USB-C on the iPhone 15. But after thorough examination, especially from Charger Lab, who are experts in the same in chargers, in charging ports, and everything related to power systems on devices, iPhones, iPads, tablets, laptops, and everything, they said that this chip is a retina chip. What does this mean? It means that this chip, its main function is to enable the USB-C become a Thunderbolt capable. Now this way it gets very interesting. Let me explain. So the usual lightning cable that is there on all the iPhones, the previous iPhones that have been released, is equivalent to the USB 2.0. And its data transfer goes up to 480 megabytes per second. But on the other hand, all the phones that are using the USB-C, the data transfer goes up to 10 gigabytes per second. That is huge and that is really fast. But now, if, and that is a small if, the new iPhones are going to have Thunderbolt capabilities on their USB-C, it will mean that their data transfer will go all the way to 40 gigabytes per second. That's mind-blowing. Okay, at least I'm impressed by that. But as usual, this is something that we'd expect from iPhone. They always try as much as possible to stand out and be the best among the rest. This is also something that is already there on the iPads, especially the iPad Pros, the MacBooks and the Mac. So far, we are not sure if this is something that is going to be incorporated in all the iPhones or is it just going to be there on the high-end iPhones, that is the iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max. And since it has also been noticed on the iPhone 15 Plus, maybe it's going to be incorporated into the same. But still, that is something that is a huge upgrade from what was expected earlier on the iPhone 15s. This is good news to all creators out there, especially the group who usually need to transfer huge data files, who shoot their content on ProRes, because this usually leave your phones with a lot of large data files, up to 100 GB data, and you'd want to transfer these as fast as possible into your computer for editing. Aside from high-speed data transfer, it also means that your iPhone will charge so much faster. It will also mean that your iPhone will be able to transmit high-resolution data. That means you can be able to transmit whatever you're watching from your iPhone into a secondary device, a monitor, or a TV. This is a huge help to creators out there who are already struggling with the same. Now, you'll ask yourself, why is Apple doing this? Basically, Apple is one of the biggest companies in the world. We already know that and they make a lot of profits, especially from selling their iPhones. iPhones are the highest selling product and that comes also with their accessories. And their main accessories is the charging cable. Previously, iPhone has been making a lot of money from selling charging cables. That is because they were the only ones who could deliver the same. Other companies have been using the normal USB and also the USB-C. But now, here comes the catch. After the regulation, which meant that iPhone is going to use USB-C, they are also trying to make sure that they are not going to make a lot of losses on these if they are going to go through with this. That's why they are introducing the Thunderbolt capabilities into the USB-C so that they stand out. This means that if you want high speed data transfer, you'll need the cable that is being offered by iPhone and not a cheaper third party cable that you're going to get out there. 
So this is one of the ways that they're going to make a lot of money from it. And according to me, when I thought about it, it really made sense. I don't know if it also makes sense to you. If it doesn't or if it does, kindly leave a comment down below. Another reason that Apple is doing this is because they're trying to beat their competitors on their own game. When it comes to phones and phone capabilities, it's usually a competition. If you're going to retain your people and keep them in the same ecosystem, that means that you're the one winning and you're the one making a lot of money. Basically, it's business at the end of the day. The good thing is that we as the users and the consumers, we are the one who usually benefit. And as I always say, whenever these phone companies come up with the new technology and new innovations, we as the consumers are the ones who usually win. So it's a win-win for us at the end of the day. And as much as they're going to increase their prices, still, we are the ones who are going to win because their competitors are also going to see the same and they're going to introduce something sort of similar, which collectively is going to benefit us, those who are Android users and and also those who are in the Apple ecosystem. Again, this is a win for all Apple users because you'll be using one cable across all your devices except only the AirPods because AirPods are going to maintain the lightning cables. So basically, this was a quick recap on the leaks about the USB-C and I didn't want this to go so many days without mentioning because later on, I'll do a compilation of all the leaks that we have received so far and for us to get a glimpse of what the iPhone 15 is going to look at generally before the official release next month. Of course, iPhone is going to to surprise us. I have mentioned this severally and I'll continue to mention this. This is just a certain percentage in what iPhone 15 is going to look exactly. But still, I'm sure you'd also love to know how the iPhone 15 is going to look like and how it's going to work so that you can also prepare yourself mentally and also prepare your pockets if you're going to buy the same or if you're not going to upgrade yet. Thank you very much guys for getting up to this end. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly hit that subscribe button. In my past recent video, I was talking about barely getting to 100 subscribers now we are 130 subscribers so we are growing really fast i'd also love to have you in this journey because you are the ones who keep me going target is to get to a thousand subscribers and 5,000, 10,000, and more but still that is not so important the important thing is that if you're benefiting from these videos kindly also comment down below if there is something that you'd like me to talk about also mention down in the comment section i'll be going through the same and i'll research on the same share with your friends and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace